I'm going to turn this over to Ellie for about five or ten minutes. She and Constance want to share with us the way that things have kind of come together for us. Then we have a little bit of wrap up and we have some really good words to come from both Steve Kinsey and from Dominic Grassi to close us out. So this is what Constance and I came up with. We looked at all these things and we came up with the titles that were the big titles that we're just repeating that you came up with. And then we just did hatch marks for kind of what rose up to the surface. And it doesn't necessarily mean anything other than this is on this day with this set of all of you in the room, this is what you felt was most important. So the things that got, and this is, the title doesn't necessarily, so that's why I said et cetera, stream, streamline, permitting, assistance, et cetera, and all those other things that you said about it. You had lots of good ideas about how you could do that. So it's just a holder, holder title. Um, processing infrastructure, and that was everything from uh, a, a slaughter facility that might be located somewhere on the 101 corridor or upgrading Rancho or all of the other things that were said about processing, whether it was a portable facility or it had to do with docking and distribution and cold storage with um, vegetables or fruits and vegetables. Um, some kind of label, marketing, brand, um, and then you could see the rest of how um, the priorities came out, educating the public and consumers, connecting environment and ag conversations, water allocation, supply, all the things that had to, that you talked about with water, the freight train, um, financial uh, resources, increasing financial resources for ag, succession support, countywide intern program, and ag in the park. And and obviously these are all really important and, and as we were sitting working on this, Nanda was, is sitting in the back and there she is right now and she's working on a, a, pr uh, a proposal to fund this program. So there are some things on here that will just happen because somebody's making them happen. So that's, wanted to let you know that that's how this kind of having to, to rank these fell out here uh, and then that can go forward to the Ag Advisory Committee. As we start to, to, close, to wrap up and close up, I'm going to ask you to indulge me just for a minute uh, and then share, share the love to a few folks. And I, I'll say hold your love till the end, your, your applause. But first and foremost, there were six focus groups that came together March, April, May that built a, a foundation for us to go, go forward from. And so I just, that was key and, and, and instrumental in getting us to be constructive and pro, pro, um, productive today. Some very key staff, um, Ellie, Steve, Bonnie and, and Kendall, Franny, um, even uh, Jenna's here today. Some folks that have been there for this whole process and I just want them to, to know that they're very much appreciated. Every table host, moderator, facilitator, this was a, a truly a group effort. Um, you guys stepped into your roles beautifully and just thank you. Um, and then I, I can't tell you how great the participation's been today. You came vested, you came positive and, and you delivered. So with that, let's just give a big group applause to all that and, and just thank you. So there's been a lot of questions and there's, there's time in our agenda to talk a little bit about next steps. And so it kind of falls to me and, I, and I'll share, you, share with you the plans that are afoot. Um, it won't be ready by Christmas, so it won't be under the tree. Um, but there will be a summit summary document. All of this work will be organized into um, a cogent, readable, accessible document. But more importantly, and, and we had an advisory group help us get to this day, we're going to be developing outreach tools. There'll be a video presentation, there'll be some talking points, some things you can use to go to different boards, different organizations, and, and share what's happened today, uh, explore the, the ways to partner with them on any of the action items that come up. So look, look for that to be coming out soon, probably sometime in January, February. And then there'll be a series of partnership meetings over the next um, 8 to 12 months where we're going to really start to look at each other and say, who can do what? You know, already today you're hearing College of Marin and Nanda pick up a task and an action item. Uh, I've heard it from others in the room today that we want to do this or we're already on it. And that's the kind of stuff we're going to do over the next 6 to, to 12 months, and that's going to be really key to success. Again, the summit's a process, it's not just today. Well, once again, I, the limitations of Walker Creek, I wasn't able to call my broker and tell him to start looking for land on 101 for this uh, <laughs> processing facility, but uh, I'll do it in the morning. Actually, this has been a magnificent day. I don't know whether it's the sunshine that energized everybody, but uh, whatever the renewable resource was that, that 
kept everyone focused throughout this meeting um, was is really impressive. And I think in a lot of ways, just like farmers uh, know that you, you need to plan for your seasons, your cycles, you need to seed uh, with good quality seed. And I think we have uh, the UC Ag Extension to thank as many other sponsors, but really you go back to the source, David, you and your team have done an outstanding job of getting this organized, of giving us the opportunity. I think what we also are seeing is that uh, reinvention is the new reality. We're going to have to keep looking for ways to, to change, to stay viable, to stay prosperous, and to actually move the dial. But I can tell you that the difference in this room from 13 years ago is we've got the resources, we've got the commitment from the producers as well as the support team. So we are going to make this go forward. What a day like this does, in my mind, is it helps create alignment between all of our different interests and as these processes have been trying to winnow down and focus and prioritize, there will be a follow through and that's what my commitment is to all of you is that we will follow through on these ideas with all of you and with the teams to make these, uh, these exciting days into exciting realities going forward. Um, so that's uh, my uh, two minutes of uh, wrap up on this. I think it's been an outstanding event. Thanks for the opportunity to be with you all. So we want to close hearing from uh, Dominic Rossi, president of uh, Marin County Farm Bureau. And we just thank him for being here all day and, and for representing the voice of, of how this will help Marin agriculture into the future. Thanks, Dave. And thank you to everybody that showed up today. This has been a great turnout. And I think a lot has already been accomplished just by looking at the 700 notepads behind <laughs> me. You guys have done an incredible job coming up with ideas. Um, so there, there's a lot of work to do. So really, this is, this is the beginning uh, hopefully what well, won't be a 13-year process till the next one, Steve, but the next process as we move forward to try to come up with how we can actually implement some of these to make things better for agriculture in Marin County. For me, I know that profitability obviously is where everything starts for all of us as farmers because it helps us in so many ways. Uh, you know, when it comes to succession, as we talked about, if you've got money in the bank, if you have the ability to pass your land on to your children, um, and having that money so that they can pay taxes because we got the estate tax to work on. So there are so many big issues, but it all starts with profitability. And one of the keys to profitability for me and something I'm taking away from today's event is to get a part of that retail dollar. Um, if we have the ability, we talked about it with the marketing and the labeling, to get a part of the retail dollar, I think that's going to benefit all of us in the long run. And so maybe you can all take it upon ourselves to, to look at how all of us individually and collectively can do that, whether it's a grown in Marin seal that we could get incorporated, which I still think is a great idea, um, or just doing it on your own, which many people have. Which actually brings me to one more, one more thing I forgot we should throw up here on these post-its, and my wife would kill me if I didn't mention it, and I didn't mention it earlier, and that's, that's the use of social media, which has just boomed over the past five years. And I really think there's opportunities there for all of us to get more involved in it, both from a you know, marketing standpoint and from an educational standpoint. I think that's the big one. If you wanna reach the consumers and get out there and teach them about what we do, the social media is something that we really need to embrace. So we can add that, that post-it. I have one thing I wanted to announce actually though, with regards to uh, air quality, we talked about regulations a lot today. The, uh, the California Air Resources Board has a policy that comes January 1st, everybody who has stationary diesel engines over 50 horsepower, you need to get them registered if you're using them more than 20 hours a year. And you have to meet all the new restrictions that come with that. What they're trying to do up here in the Bay Area Air District is actually push this out 10 years. They, they want to delay it, which I think is a fabulous idea. We need to be able to work more with these regulatory agencies. And so I just want everybody to know, if you guys have diesel engines that are over 50 horsepower, make sure you get a hold of the Bay Area Air Quality uh, Management District and let them know so they can get you signed up. If they get you basically on their list now, you won't have to move on for another 10 years to update your engines, okay? So it's kind of important. If you got any questions about it, grab me after and I'll, I'll give you more information about it. But that's, that's really a big one. So in closing, Everybody needs to go out and realize that when we walk out of here today, because today is just the first day of this process, go back to your ranches, work on implementing these things for yourselves and figure out where, where it is that you can help improve your own businesses for yourself 
and then also for our community. So when we get back together and talk about these things, maybe we've got the ability to, uh, to look at some of the ideas that work the best and where we can move forward and make the improvements. So once again, thank everybody for coming today.